Why was the DLR built? Well, to answer that question, first we need to look at what the DLR is. The DLR, also known as the Docklands Light Railway, is a driverless light rail system primarily serving the Docklands area of London. Light rail operates like a tram, but at higher capacity and speed and usually has its own right of way. Now we know what the DLR is, let's get into why it was built. In the 18th and 19th century, new docks were built in the east to cater for the rapidly growing city. But from the mid-1960s, the docks gradually closed down due to not having the space to expand and could not handle larger vessels. Throughout the 1970s, the government and the London Council put forward various plans to redevelop the Docklands area. In 1973 the idea for a mini tram was proposed and in 1976 another report suggested the idea of a conventional underground line. As the light rail option was several times cheaper only costing 77 million versus a jubilee line extension that would cost 450 million, the decision was made to go with the light rail option. Initially the railway was planned to be manually operated and have some stretches of rail running along the street, but this was later changed to be mostly autonomous and to have fully dedicated infrastructure. With the deadline set of 1987, construction teams had to get to work to bring this idea into reality. The line was opened by Queen Elizabeth II on July 30th, 1987. The DLR has three out of four level automation. This means that it is driverless, but it still has guards to supervise the train and take over driving if the system has any issues. It is pretty well known that the DLR doesn't have much distance between stops. Between stations Canary Wharf and West India Quay, the distance is only a few metres. When the DLR opened, it only had 15 stations, which now has expanded to 45, and the least used one out of those is Beckton Park. New stock are coming into service this year which hosts a smoother ride with added suspension, a nice new turquoise livery and USB ports among other things. For a more in-depth look I recommend checking Jeff Marshall's video linked in the description. Only five of the DLR stations are underground, Woolwich Arsenal, Island Gardens, Stratford, Cutty Sark and Bank. Of these, Bank is the deepest at 41 metres below the surface. Now for some shorter facts. During the 2012 London Olympics, the DLR's annual ridership doubled to over 100 million passengers. Not really a fact, but the new DLR trains that I just spoke about look very similar to some of the Paris Metro stock. Thank you so much for watching to the end and please consider subscribing and liking the video. It only takes a few seconds but it genuinely means a lot to me.